To Tesla, gearing up for its annual shareholder meeting later this afternoon after George Soros cut his holdings in EV makers, including Musk's company. Joining us now is Ed Ludlow. Morning, Ed. Yeah, good morning, Jonathan. We got that from the 13F on May 12th as it relates to George Soros, a $16 million stake that he'd come into in the second quarter of 2022. But remember, at that time, Soros was looking quite broadly at tech. That stake now gone. I would also note on the Bloomberg this morning that JP Morgan, John Hancock, other names have cut their exposure to Tesla in the most recent quarter. There's actually a lot going on ahead of the AGM. I think we're up by about two tenths of a percent or so treading water. Bloomberg reporting overnight according to sources that in Shanghai, Tesla is getting near to trial production of an updated and revamped version of the Model 3. Slightly longer wheelbase, sleeker interior design, um, but that process of, of developing that product moving forward in Shanghai, according to sources. And then we have the AGM. Uh, we will get votes on board composition. Uh, most interestingly, whether JB Strawbaugh, a co-founder of Tesla, and of course the CEO of Redwood Materials should be added to the board. Most most investors looking at a shareholder proposal for Tesla to issue a key person risk report, uh, a report which basically looks at individuals with the company and their core uh, importance to Tesla, of course, with Elon Musk recently announcing that Linda Yaccarino will become the new Twitter CEO. There's been uh, some thinking that Elon may now be more focused on Tesla, having been spending a lot of time at Twitter since April of last year.